the way the crypto market is reacting, a lot of people, they're still in disbelief. And I understand some assets like this are showing you we are still below a resistance. That's okay. Altcoin market is showing you it's below a resistance, which means you are not watching a lot of different assets popping. But you can see for sure that the idea is true that the market and the divergence work. This asset is already up what? Close to 80% since the thought process was shared here. And the idea was, yeah, bullish divergence is developing. It's going to break higher. We followed it up. And now you can watch that the price action is becoming more and more interesting. So the market is giving you all the ideas you actually need. But just don't fall for this trap. The scammers would be there everywhere. So shout out to Crypto Airy for highlighting that again and again. Because remember, the market will be full of scammers as it starts to pump. As you start making money, they would like to take it away from you. Just ride this wave to the upside. There is a lot of different thought process in the charts based on different assets in different segments. Now, it's our duty to look all of them. So we're going to look at all of them one by one. Say we'll actually take one from payments, one from gaming, one from AI. We'll actually go through multiple streams here now today so that you have an idea that, yeah, the market is like this, mm -hmm, but the Bitcoin is actually breaking through. That's an entirely different story. And the argument being made is that next two and a half months would look entirely different because what we have seen before while this happened is in front of you. That means you're watching for a big bump and you know that it is coming. So you need to be highly prepared and ready to ride this. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world. Now, let's be real here. Let's be honest. If you are watching a three-day chart or a weekly chart and projecting this to one direction here, that's to the upside, then you shouldn't go to a four-hour chart and trade because this direction is to the upside. Because the micro moves can be to any direction depending on when you enter, right? Say you go on a four hour chart, what you're watching is a negative divergence develop. Fine? So you have this. So don't be surprised if the price action actually says, yeah, I'm doing the micro wave one, two, three. Now I be choppy here, then I pop. Fine? So if it does drop to $64,000. That's a $3,000 drop. Don't be surprised. But instead of getting worried about this short term drop here, at least follow the market on a daily chart, at least. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, what you do see is, okay, we had this, we broke that to the upside. We have this, we broke that to the upside. I mean, how much more do you need as confirmation? Yeah, it's true that we are waiting for this level to break. Now, on a daily chart, watch where we are now, right? Yeah, we are at a resistance. You don't go ultra bullish at a resistance. You wait for a breakout and then go highly aggressive. This is what historical trend shows us. So now, on a daily you are at a resistance and you're watching that we're starting to develop a negative divergence. Mm. So we talked about this scenario, but not exactly the 58, but 61. For sure, it went a little bit below my expectations before it actually popped to this region. But you guys saw what we were discussing in the last couple of weeks. So while we are at this resistance, what you should be looking at is more of what you can anticipate from here. 
that's why I'm saying just like what we used before all the tools it worked and if it worked don't change it if it's working follow that a three-day chart is showing you what the direction is to the upside it's simple guys daily is already saying i'm bullish i'm about to enter the all bot territory which is great but remember the price action goes monumentally bullish when the three-day and weekly enters there especially the weekly if you are like okay i don't have much of a time and just look at this use it one of the key signal here say you don't understand the macd you don't understand the rsi okay keep it aside now if you are a normal guy the normal retail guy looking to make it big in this phase watch this when your indicators are positive or at least the Haken Ashi is green on a weekly and you're breaking the moving average. I'm using a 21 day moving average to the upside. You get something good, guys. I mean, from 19,000 to be able to ride to 30, 32,000, it's great. Now, next time it did, it was 28,000. It went all the way up to 70,000. Now it's again repeating that. What do you think is going to be the results? I mean, it should be somewhat something similar. You have the one here, you have the two here. What are you expecting? The three. Now, how big can that be? There is a lot of different speculation in the market. I'm not going there. Rather, I would like to now see which asset class in this segment, I mean, which asset segment in this industry is going to thrive. We'll take smart contracts, which is Ether, the large cap smart contract i'll take a weekly chart for ether and i'll look at this mm. honestly for bitcoin you're looking at the weekly chart the macd is about to cross to the upside rsi broke to the upside retested and is bouncing so when i pick ether on that friend okay let me give points rsi did break to the upside retest and bounce yeah that's good now price did not break out neither did it actually reach the resistance which is close to three thousand dollars so they ether is lagging bitcoin fine it's at a support which is fine but it's lagging macd is not there to cross so that means by this weekly close Bitcoin's MACD would most likely close to the upside, cross back to the upside. Ether will not, unless it pumps like crazy next week. The smart contracts on the large cap segment is a bit slow. Now we take payments. Mm. The same equation, the same thing. You don't cross compare with different results. Weekly, What's surprising for me in XRP in the payments is MACD is trying to cross to the downside, not to the upside. I'm surprised, meaning this is my biggest holding and I'm like, whoa, whoa, what is that? Then I go to a monthly. It's showing I'm slowing down, but I'm not crossing back to the downside yet. So there is something which is coming in. But then I go back to the weekly to see what's happening, right? So I put it on a Heikinashi and I'm looking at this rectangular pattern. We are not breaching below that, but we are red. So I go to a three day, it's turning green. I go to a daily, it's turning green, but not yet breaking the moving average on a daily, on a three day. So I'm not watching or expecting it to go green the very next week. The most likely event would not look like that. Then the question is, okay, if Bitcoin is about to run crazy like that, altcoin market, is it going to go down? I mean, that sounds crazy. So that's where you go look at different assets, different segments. Now, this is Chili's, obviously, the sports, the gaming side of the equation. You had the fake out to the downside here. And we know what ends up happening after such things. And then immediately after that, you got the MACD cross to the upside. Mm -hmm. You also have the RSI 
break out. That's good. Now, what's even more important is the resistance. Where is the closest resistance? It still has some room to the upside. So it can literally go up another 50% and make this entire rally 150%. That's a micro move, not a macro. And still, it's able to get back up to those levels. So gaming is going to be something you should be looking at. Now, you want to look at a large cap gaming, it's up to you. You can select Gala, you can select Mana, whichever you want. I'm breaking all of those down segment by segment in the Patreon. I'm actually doing that. I'm doing different assets together. Now, I'm going to sit there, segregate it into segment by segment. So in this digest, what you're going to look at is gaming. Okay, these are the assets. They're doing this. Payments, these are the assets, they're doing this. AI, smart contracts. So you're going to get the different segments of the market like infrastructure. Some of them are looking absolutely good. So you would like to see what goes up when Bitcoin is riding to the upside. You won't see everything following that equation. When Bitcoin slows down at the top, yeah, some others would start running. And if you are interested in checking them out, be a part of the Sinovic Investor family. Use the link in the description below and join there. You get to do the one-on-one -on -one session, go through your portfolio, take individual trades. When I say individual trades, what we are looking at is you talking to me in person and going through the trades. This is just yesterday when we closed one trade. Now, yes, it took two weeks. Uh huh. I was expecting 50% in a couple of weeks but it actually performed well but fine what are you looking at you're thinking about how many times can you double your asset in three to four months because if you can actually do that seven times whoa that's a magnificent rally now say you don't want that aggressive move in the market you're going a little slow you're still looking at what a 10x in three months if you are interested in such things, then, you know, this is the only area in the market where you get to educate yourself about the market, about the asset class itself and different segments, and then the TA properly, not just running through, but giving you guys the right idea one-on-one, -on -one, 30 minutes, we talk. So now jumping back into the market, you look at this. We just checked payments, we just checked gaming, we just checked smart contracts. Now we'll pick infrastructure. Say this is GRT, it's infrastructure. I'm just giving you guys a base idea of what you should be looking at. This is what? Long-term trend line. It's doing what? It's bouncing off from that. What do you see in the MACD? It's crossing to the upside. Great, I like it. What does the RSI show you? It's breaking to the upside. I like it. So now what would you look for? I mean, I would just look at the moving average. If it's breaking to the upside on a three day, I'm already happy. Whenever there is a corrective move, maybe like this, maybe I'm wrong, but if it happens, I'm going to buy that. Why? Because I believe it's going to go crazy, right? You have trend lines, you have wave structure, whichever you follow, it's good. But remember, follow that correctly. If you're following one analysis method, which you know correctly, follow it. Don't mix it up with something new. If you are using something from like, you know, two, three different analysis from five, six years, great. Now you know them. So you can combine to get the average results. And we do that all the time on the macro chart to get the average target where it should be safe to take profits. When you go into the market, you're looking at the market in a different way. You're putting it on a weekly chart, right? And you're just looking at the price action for now. Remove the noise if it's confusing you and use this, which is a line chart. And the line chart is saying what to you? I mean, zoom in, get the real story. Don't just go against the speculation and the change in narrative. It's giving you the idea that I'm breaking higher. I want to be specific. I want to be clear here. That's why I'm zooming this much in. 
if you see this breaking higher, what should you be thinking about? This is your trend line to the downside. Say you're conservative. This is your ROI. Mm, 20 to 23% to the upside. So if Bitcoin is about to ride that wave now, what do you think the market is about to do in general? Maybe it's 80,000. Maybe it's 100,000. But we'll actually see that with the volume. What do I mean? You go back to the candles. Watch the volume to price action. Do you have a ton of buyers here pushing the price up? No. What does that mean? Mm. You have limited buyers and the price is responding well enough, which means sellers have already backed out. And I told you that before, right? When we went on the three-day charts, when we discussed about all those, we talked about that scenario. We had little, we were, had a lot of sellers here, but then the very next candle, 12th October, you saw the reality. You had a little buying power than the previous candle, but the price went up. The sellers backed out. You have even little buying volume now, but yeah, the daily and the three-day candle close has to come before you get to see where that ends up. As of now, it's just simple, man. I mean, you are now going through this. You can't see we're breaking higher. If we sustain this till Monday, that's a breakout on a weekly after six, seven months. That's going to be something worth to write. You had this before, which gave you decent results. You had this before, which again gave you very good results. You had similar breakout here, which gave you decent results. So if you are watching something, there is moving average, the price, the breakout, the resistance. You're just focusing on those. Now say you want even more clarity. Just go on a monthly, man. I mean, you just put it on a monthly and you see this. You want to put it on a line chart? Perfect. But the answer is clear. You had a bullish divergence. You were in a bull flag. Now you're breaking to the upside. That's how good it can actually get in a market when you're breaking through a bull flag. Say you're new and you're just entering the market right now. Consider yourself lucky. We went through a lot of from the market. The market literally whooped us. But we sustained and we will prevail. We will thrive. Why? Because we were not scared because of this drop in the market. Because we knew this was the trend. You're going to go up. And at one point, you will see the altcoin market going crazy. Yes, we have the breakout. Yes, we are trying to do a continuation pattern. On a weekly, we are crossing to the upside. Not only just that cross, but it's on the positive territory. So on the macro, the wide angle perspective is showing you, I'm going up. I don't care what you think, but the monthly says, I don't care what the short term shows you. I'm about to go crazy. Fine. Stay in all your long term bags. Don't jump out. If you're trading, yeah, you're doing a lot of crazy monkey jumping. Fine. But when you do long spot, you know, your weekly riding bag, you don't jump out. Focused here. It's easy. Monthly chart is easy to follow. Weekly chart is very easy to follow. You put that on a Ranko or Heikinashi. If you want Ranko, fine. You're still waiting for confirmation. You go in a three-day, you're still waiting for a confirmation. You go on a daily, yeah, it's starting to push higher. This is exactly what I was conveying with the candlesticks. Whereas you pick the Bitcoin for that matter. You're on a monthly. Heikinashi is already saying, I'm going up, guys. Each and every time, not just once. 99% of the time, whenever you get a green candle on a monthly, you follow through. You follow through. Next candle is green. So until your very next candle goes red, you don't have to move out from the market. Great. Now if you put that on a Ranko, what do you see? I'm going up. The top of my range is 70,000. I'm going to try breaking that. You go on a weekly. It's saying, yeah, the downside is done. 
anything above 62 is bullish and we are at 67 so you know what to anticipate the roof is what 69 to 70 you go on a three day it's showing you what we discussed about all this here in this channel over the last couple of weeks and you're watching the results play out so if you receive value smash that like button for me guys if you haven't done that yet and if you want to join the scientific investor family to ride all the other assets which i'm showing you i'm about to burst follow this link which is in the description below so guys i'll meet you on the next video bye for now